it might be that you are thinking about your kids going to school in a week or so's time, uh, but they've not said anything. And you think, oh, that's okay, great. They've got a great summer holiday. They're not thinking about it. I can assure you they are thinking about it. Do you remember back when we were on our summer holidays, that sense of dread that increases week by week? And that's what your kids are going through right now. And for some of them, actually, they'll be going through big changes from year six to year seven. Perhaps they're going into their GCSE year or A-level year. There, there'll be some burdens perhaps they're carrying. And we've not named them out loud and we're hoping that they're not there, but mm, their kids will be feeling them. So how do you manage that? How do you manage those moments? Well, the first thing is communication. It's old, but it is the best thing. And some parents, I was talking to a parent yesterday and they were struggling with this and saying, my boy doesn't, my son doesn't really speak to me. But actually they said, but it's really funny, when we go for a drive in the car, they do. And that's because actually they sat alongside. It's non-confrontational. So go out for a walk, go out for a drive, maybe watch a movie, pause the movie. And as you're there, just say, and how are you feeling? What's going on? And follow the threads that they leave uh, for you. Well, you know, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Just, you know, worried about French or whatever. And just see, well, what, what's that going on? What's going on in your head about that? And as you're doing this, just... Um, Make sure that those communication lines remain open, that you are making stuff as stable and secure as you can to so keep the bedtimes uh, 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 regular and early because they need that. You know sleep's really important for them. Keep the meal times regular. Keep the, keep the, get around the table if you possibly can. Um, eat with your kids. Um, go for those, get as much fresh air as you can in this last week or so as, you, as you're looking up to back to school. Why? Because at some point, um, they're going to walk onto a playground and look around and go, I am the only one here and I feel alone. And they need to know that actually you're rooting for them back home. They need to know that you're for them, that you understand some of those pressures and that actually if they do need to share anything, that you're the safe space for them to go and do that. So back to school.